schools can, it couldn't even compare to how much recess advanced you. Recess matches you up with a project that has your interests and what you want to do. I feel like this program kind of sets you up in, you know, in order to get into grad school and how to do it properly and they give you all those tools. They show you all the steps that you need to complete in order to do a very, very good you know, presentation, paper and poster. It's incredible what you get out of it, but you're only going to get out what you put in. So, With the right mindset and the right heart towards it, you can accomplish whatever you need to accomplish within recess. My project is actually based on just aquifers and like the study of blue clay in the San Luis Valley. Eco-hydrology. Um, I'm going to be tracking snow melt in one of the Rocky Mountain watersheds. Modeling the static stress change of an earthquake on the Fuji volcano. I am doing research on the Earth's magnetic field and in particular I'm working on the plasmosphere and understanding how the plasmosphere and the Earth's magnetic field affects our infrastructure. There's 25,000 hectares that have been burned and the main concern with fire or wildfire is what comes afterwards, which is flash floods. They dumped a whole bunch of straw mulch over the whole side of quite a few of the, the mountains. And we are currently studying the hydrologic effect of straw mulch. The biggest challenge is trying to do this in 10 weeks. Sometimes it'll get hard, just don't um, give up, persevere, and um, just have fun with it. But you can get out many other opportunities out of recess, either a job, either a master's degree program. It's, there's more here than just doing research. Boulder's a really cool place. You walk outside and you see mountains every day and that is so beautiful. The apartments are really, really nice. I ride my bike everywhere because it's a lot easier than driving here. So every week you got a workshop to help you with your writing. This writing workshop was like, you have to do it. You have to do it. And I finished my paper early, so I'm glad of that. I really like being able to share my work with um, the other interns and getting student feedback from them. It improved my skills, my grammar, uh, where I can take it over into graduate school. Especially since I haven't taken any English classes in college, I feel like I was just way behind on writing, and now I feel like I'm ahead. Recess, it pretty much it directed me towards graduate school. At first I was unsure, but now I'm really certain that I'm willing to go to graduate school and I'm actually willing to do more research in my field and actually be active in the community within the scientific world. It, it really encouraged me to, you know, really embrace and understand how much hard work that we have that goes into, like, if you really want to go to graduate school and you really have to work hard, it's not a walk in the park. So recess kind of gave me the opportunity to pick what I wanted to do and they fit me with somebody which I thought was really different compared to a lot of programs. My research here has opened up a whole new set of doors um, in the sense that, you know, I'm not restricted to doing just geology like I thought I would do. Um, it's be more like an interdisciplinary approach. I feel great, I feel like I uh, accomplished a lot from um, post a presentation from the talk to being in the field, writing the paper. At first when I heard about recess, I was like, oh, I, I don't think that I could make it. But thankfully, I was accepted and it's been the best experience ever. Like it was so intense. I didn't expect it to be as intense as it was, but it was well worth it. After doing this, I feel like I can do anything. Like um, it was a huge learning experience. Um, and now I feel like I have another family away from home and a support system. So my name is Steven Hernandez. I'm from El Paso, Texas originally. I currently live in St. Louis, Missouri. I work um, 
I work for Doug Weens. He's a professor at Washington University in St. Louis. I first got involved with Ponet through an organization called NINAVCO. They're a consortium of universities that help researchers with uh, logistics and general know-how of GPS technology. So anyways, they had this internship called Recess, and I was in that internship, and it was through Recess that I was able to get in touch with Terry Wilson out of OSU. And uh, in summer 2008, I went to go work with Terry Wilson on, as, a, as a joint Recess slash Pone intern. Uh, I, I got a chance to present my work at a couple conferences. One was called SACNAS, which stands for the Society for the Advancement of Chicano Native Americans in Science. I, I do intend to go to grad school, but I'm, I was in the middle of the year off, and Doug Weens, knowing this, he asked me if uh, if you wanted to go back to to WashU to continue the work that I that I started. So that's uh, that was very fortunate for me because I got to go to Fiji, to Tonga, now Antarctica, South Pole, which is a stone's throw away that way. So it was very nice, very fortunate. Calvin Jensen, Jordan Allen, Brianna Skeets, Christine Chesley, Mangel Torrens Bonano, Luis Montalvo, Crystal Yelverton, Teresa Carranza, Fulmer, Ashley Grijalva, Brendan Mosley Jr., Melissa Carnicle, Jenna, Warner Robbins, Georgia, Ay Bonito, Atlanta, Georgia, Appleton, Wisconsin, Florida, Luquillo, Puerto Rico, Elizabeth City, North Carolina, the University of Michigan, the University of Texas at El Paso, Jackson State University, the University of Minnesota Morris, Colorado School of Mines. Thank you.